So this is a car that I really regret buying. It's another one of my additions. It's a 90 Brome. And from this side it might look okay, but it really isn't too great. The front end is all shot. <coughs> Lots of overspray. Emblems are in the wrong place. The guy got paint all over the reef. I had to replace the crest. I'm sorry. He got paint on the crest. I had to replace the reef. Fillers are starting to crack as they always do. Paint on the side is just really horrible. Really, really, really shitty. Really, really shitty. Emblem is faded. Gets better. Car was hit in the front, so it's got the wrong clip on it. As the 80s clip instead of the 90 clip, which works so much better. Like I said, center link is shot. Idler arm is probably shot. I replaced that tie rod if you can see. It's a mess. I took that trim ring off. Lamp indicators don't work. Whoever replaced it cut the wire. Power antenna don't work. She's got a lot of overspray too on the antenna. No ring over there for the trim. Final top is okay, that's about it. And the chassis actually. I'll give it the chassis isn't so terrible. As you can see. And the body really isn't that bad either. Rust wise. Leather interior is shit though, all cracked and just a mess, all faded and went a mess. She does have the 350. Probably needs a water pump. Tape deck is intermittent. Outside temp only stays on 56, don't know what that's about. Wheel is a little worn out. Trip tick no longer works. Cruise control doesn't work. Now what else doesn't work is the Twilight Sentinel. Stays on for five minutes because it has to do with the hit in the front. The power mirror, that doesn't work either. It's all loose. Passenger seat again, all cracked. Headliner is another mess. Like I said, I should have never bought this car. I should have never bought this car. Let's open the hood. Hold on one second. 350. Probably gonna need a water pump. The cruise control over here. The wires are all just mishmashed, you see. Vacuum leak or something, cruise doesn't work. The motor runs okay, so I can the water pump car. Still not a car I should have bought. AC was all sealed off, I don't know if you saw that. Like I said, the door panels are in good shape. Full power. Those work. Sills, those are okay. Still does have your nice shag carpeting. That is a nice aspect. Wood dash. Trunk. Ashtrays. This piece is a little loose. Probably can they replace the top. Not terrible though. Back seats are also pretty messy. So this car was not maintained at all. Look how disgusting this cushion is. This is just 
awful and a shame. This piece over here, loose. Like I said, the headliner. Reading lights work though. The cushions are okay, it's just the bottom that's messed up. The back cushion is okay, which is shocking. These were a little stretched out, probably had stuff in them. Panels over here are a little off, a little gap. I just kind of never should have bought this car. This emblem is all faded and wrong. If I get cut off, I apologize. My camera might die. So we will just have to see what happens. We'll open the mammoth trunk. You got some rust up there. How beautiful is that? Got a little more over here. Isn't that just lovely? Weather tripping is all ripped. Mammoth trunk though. VIN codes, jack instructions. This is your new headlights and wiring harness. Because I did buy the clip for the front. I might want to fix it eventually to put the right one on. The European headlights. Pull down works. Yeah, I just want to show you one more thing on here. You do have reading lights with garage opener. It was an option. Sun visors. This doesn't really work too well. Ashtray. The gate is intermittent, it'll flash sometimes. Armrest is all ripped over there, as you can see. That car, that's a beauty. 80 Mark VI, I'll do a video on that. That car is really nice. But this one, I never should have bought it. It was an impulse buy. And impulse buys are sometimes the worst. As I was saying with the AC, it was all sealed off. I don't know if the compressor works or what. Maybe it had a leak in the evap. I don't know. I don't want to know. Hey, how are you? Good. Also, other side of the trim is all bent. You tell me though, maybe I did do good on this. I paid nineteen hundred for it. It's got a hundred thousand miles. See this is all bent up here. But the undercarriage is very nice. Somehow the chassis on the car is see. The front tires are just shit, they're all bull. So I still regret buying this car. I should have held off and gotten one of these that was in tip-top shape. And maybe at the Elegance model. These don't work. They're all cracked. The passenger work, works a little bit, but not so well. This trim over here is loose. You can see the panel over here is starting to peel. I'm loose. That's all faded. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? The wipers, well, those work actually. That's one of the things that does work. Tape player is intermittent, but you do have the original Cadillac radio, which is nice. The dash, somehow, that also isn't all cracked up. The dash is okay. But overall, between the center link and the idler arm and the tires and the water. But anyways, 